Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candice, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really colorful name. At least I think it's pretty colorful. I think the books tonight will be kind of colorful. And I got a twofer for you tonight, too, a twofer. But first, let me jam on my kazoo. Yeah. So I got this bag of instruments here. I just dig in there and pull something out. And I figured, let me get on this kazoo. I can't do too bad with this, do you think? Mm, we about to find out. It's time for the checklist. It's time for the checklist. It's time for the checklist. It's time for the checklist just like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Now let's get down to the checklist. Just act like you didn't hear what you just heard, but you heard it, but that's okay. All right, boys and girls, have you had a wonderful dinner? Are your stomachs all satisfied and full and content? Check. Boys and girls, did you do your chores around the house today? Teamwork with the family, helping out, keeping the house in order? Check. Boys and girls, this is Friday. Yes, I know. It's Friday night. But did you do some homework? Keep that brain, keep that brain exercised. Keep it, keep it strong. Keep it smart. Keep it intelligent. Keep it brilliant. Make sure you do your homework. Check. Now tomorrow's Saturday. Yes, it is. But did you pick out your outfit that you're gonna be wearing for tomorrow? Cause that you get that done. So if you're sleeping in, you can sleep in. You don't have to worry about jumping up at 11 a.m. in the after, in the morning, late morning by that by that standard. And um, going now, what am I gonna wear today? You'll already have it. So pick it out tonight, and you're good to go for tomorrow. Check, boys and girls. Did you pick out your PJs for tonight that you're gonna sleep in? I got mine on already. Check. Did you take your bath or a shower? Are you fresh and clean and your body all refreshed from head to toe? Check. And after you dry it off with your favorite towel, did you put on lotion so that you won't be all ashy and kind of just dry skinned and irritated? Make sure you put the lotion on to soothe your skin. Check. Boys and girls, did you clean those ears? Huh? What you say? Huh? I said, did you clean those ears? Check. And if you're a little stopped up, maybe you might need to do a little nose cleanse too. You might have to clean out the nostrils. A little help from your parents to show you how to do that correctly. But it's that time. It's, it's the allergy season, so you may need to do that. Check. Boys and girls, hair. Did you brush your hair, comb your hair, braid your hair, part your hair, wrap your hair, wash your hair, whatever, grease your hair, whatever you need to do for your hair? Got your hair together? Check. And did you brush your teeth? I didn't forget to brush your teeth now. Did you brush your teeth? Are they shiny and gleamy and glistening and all sparkly and white and your breath is all fresh? Check. And with that being said, have you flossed? Between the gaps in your teeth that the bristles of your brush can't quite reach, make sure you floss. Check. And if you have a mouthwash that's safe for you to use, go ahead and gargle with the mouthwash too, huh? Yes. Check. Well, let's see what else we need to do. Hmm. Before we go to bed, that's a lot of things we got to think of because I'm always long-winded with this part. Um, do you have a night light? Because you want to make sure you can see if you have to get up in the middle of the night. Check. All right. What else? Did you give your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members and pets that live in the house? And any friends or guests that are at the house, show them a little love too. Check. Boys and girls, if you're not listening to Candy's Cozy Couch, maybe you're reading a book. Maybe you're having a story read to you. 
it doesn't matter as long as you get that bedtime story in because you know it's pretty important it helps you when you're getting ready to drift off into dreamland sometimes it gives you that bright idea as to what you like to dream about but i hope you're listening to me and candy's cozy coach i really need to figure out a theme song anyway check did you do your last visit to the toilet pee or poo before you go to bed so you're not uncomfortable while you're resting. I don't want you to have to wake up in the middle of the night if you don't have to. Check. Now, let's see. If I missed anything, oh well, because I keep adding stuff to the list. So, I'm just going to say this. Did you clean your room? Because that's that separate true. I got to make sure we did. Don't go to bed in a messy room. Don't do it. Clean that room. Check. Now, now you need to say your prayers. Don't forget to say your prayers. Thank God for everything that you have, just for just for everything, okay? Say your prayers before you drift off to dreamland. Check. All right, boys and girls, let's get into this too first, shall we? The first one I'm going to re- read is entitled Baby Animals, okay? And it is by Stephen Lomp, okay? <clears throat> Books babies can really sink their gums into. It says, babies like to play in the bath, so does baby elephant. Baby likes to eat, so does baby monkey and baby chipmunk. Baby loves to make noise, just like baby bird, baby pig, and baby hippo. All right, so we're going to teach baby all about baby animals in a book. That's industry, indestructible, actually. Okay. Well, let's do it then. Let's see. There are all kinds of babies in the world. Sloth Club. Opossum Joey. Duck Duckling. Goat Kid. All right. Look at that. Yay. Pretty baby animals. All right. Let's see who else we got, shall we? Cat, kitten, elephant, calf, gorilla, infant, dog, puppy. Like you, they love to play. So we learn all of the baby names for the animals that we know and love. We all start out as babies first. They love to eat. Monkey, infant, chipmunk, pup, koala, joey, turtle, hatchling. Wow. So they got terms that let you know that they're babies versus big animals. So we are learning them tonight. They love to make noise. Bird, chick, hippopotamus, calf, splash, pig, piglet, wolf, cub, and what is this? Scratch, scratch. Wolf is howling. Look at all those O's. (laughs) They love to snuggle. A bear cub, rabbit kitten. I did not know that rabbit, baby rabbits were called kittens. Owl, owlet, giraffe, calf. I learned some names tonight too, boys and girls. Yay. And that's the end of all the baby animals. So let's move on to story number two. All right. Now this one is a I'm going to read book. And it's up to 50 words in it. It's entitled No More TV Sleepy Cat. And the pictures are by Elliot Kreloff. Yes, indeed. Jake, a very sleepy cat thinks of many excuses why he can't go to sleep at bedtime. Finally, he becomes sleepy enough to slip into slumber. 
And then we have in the word bank, like they said, up to 50 words. I'm going to read them. Apparently, they have them in alphabetical order here. A, all, bedtime, book, but, can, cat, drink, end, fuzzy, good, I, I'm, it's, Jake, kiss, light, make, me, need, night, no, not, now, off, right, said, sleep, sleepy, the, then, tight, to, turning, TV, want, watch, will, you, and your. This is a level one book. And those are the words that are going to be within the book. Let's get started, shall we? Yes, we shall. No more TV, sleepy cat. I'm turning off the TV, Jake. I'm not sleepy, says Jake. I want to watch to the end. Aww. Jake doesn't want to go to bed. Are you like that sometimes? All right. You can watch the end. Then it's bedtime. And at the top of the uh, page, there are actually some of the... Uh, Sight words kind of running across the top there. Jake, it's the end. Now it's bedtime. But I'm not sleepy. But I'm not sleepy. Too bad. Go to sleep. I need fuzzy. Fuzzy? All right. Good night. Sleep tight. I'm turning off the light. All right. So mom gave him fuzzy. She's turning off the light. Or is she? Mm -hmm. But I'm not sleepy. I need a kiss. A kiss? All right. Good night. Sleep tight. I'm turning off the light. Oh, no. He really is stalling for time if he don't go to sleep. But I'm not sleepy. I need a night light. See, that's in the checklist, isn't it? Night light. All right. Good night. Sleep tight. Also, I forgot to ask you guys if you got your cuddle buddies. I just assume those are there automatically because they be in the bed already before you get in. But I'm not sleepy. I need a drink. No drink, Jake. Good night. Sleep tight. I'm turning off the light. Aw, oh, man. Jake can't sleep to save his life. He making up all the excuses. But I'm not sleepy. I need a book. No book. Good night. Sleep tight. I'm turning off the light. Oh, come on. You got to read him a book. That's what I'm doing. Boys and girls, aren't we reading a book right now? But a bedtime book will make me sleepy. And sure enough, it's a bedtime story. Bedtime book. All right, then it's good night. All right, so she's going to go ahead and read them that story. Just like we read our story, right? Bedtime story. Jake, it's the end. You're a sleepy, sleepy, sleepy cat. So Jake really did fall asleep while she was reading the story. I had a recent instance with my nephews actually falling asleep before I finished the story. That never really happens. But they must have been tired that night. Sleep tight all night. The end. See them Z's. The end. Awesome. Now... All right, boys and girls, there you go. We did it. 
And now, of course, it's that time for you to go to sleep. And don't sit here saying, I can't sleep. I need this. I need that. We already did the checklist. I think we covered everything. And if I miss something, you just check your own checklist and take care of everything before you go to bed. Now, boys and girls, it's that time. The best part. You get comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in the rug with your cuddle buddies and your blankets and your comfy PJs in your own bed, in your own room, and you're safe and you're sound and you're loved and you are content. Close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Anything, whatever you like. It's all up to you. And allow yourself to drift off to sleep into dreamland so that you can dream that special dream. All right, get to it, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.